we're talking about inheritance. The scripture I have that I really want to focus on is in, found in Psalm 2, verses 7 through 8. And this is a scripture prophetically that is a promise about what Jesus will do that David writes. And it says, I will surely tell of the decrees of the Lord. He said to me, you are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will surely give you the nations as your inheritance, and the very ends of the earth as your possession. And when Jesus died, we just celebrated Easter. We celebrated the resurrection of Jesus. When, when this happened, his death and resurrection, it's like that was the crossover when God the Father could give him the full inheritance of what the enemy stole. And I don't know about you, but I'd like to play an April Fool's crank on the devil. And I would like to say that God is marking everybody for the fullness of what Christ died for. And they are not leaving here until they get the fullness. Because God wants us, as Chris talked about, to get the fullness, to understand what it means when he forgives us, what it means when he cleanses us, what it means that we have authority over situations and things that happen in families, in work situations, in finding $5,000, in all different kinds of ways. Why? Because God gave us an inheritance. And it doesn't matter what we see with our eyes, it matters what we see in our heart. Because if we have faith, the size of what? A mustard seed. We will see it. This is part of what God has called us to. We are not ordinary people. But we do incredible things because our heart rests in the power that God did when he raised Christ from the dead. And that's for us. Are you excited? I'm excited. I, I feel like there's even, you know, in God's economy, the more we give away our inheritance, the more we get back. <laughs>